Friday. It is currently 8 o'clock and this is kind of how I've been starting my mornings every single day. I've been waking up at 7.30 making my breakfast. I didn't film my actual egg white omelet because I feel like you guys have seen me make this omelet like every time I do either a full day of eating or just like in general. I always like to start my breakfast with a ton of veggies and micronutrients. Even though there's not like a lot of fat in this meal to sustain me, that's just because I work out immediately after. I always put like spinach, mushrooms, broccoli, peppers, tomatoes, um, sometimes goat cheese in the omelet depending on like if I feel like it but I always feel like once I start the day with a ton of like veggies and micronutrients I'm like yes I am so healthy so I bring everything over here to my little computer nook area for now it's funny like we were gonna get a desk and put it in the office the guest and so we put my iMac here just for like the time being but I kind of like being in the kitchen and then being able to see the TV and like the chairs swivelly. I don't know. I just, I kind of enjoy it. So I haven't really been rushing to get a desk. Friday is actually my least busy day for check-ins, which is great. Um, most of my clients check in between Monday and Wednesday. So I have six check-ins right now. And so I'm going to eat my breakfast, do my client check-ins to start this lovely Friday morning off. And then I will bring you guys with me to the gym because I have not filmed any of my training recently. And I know a lot of people have been wondering like how my training has changed since I'm not really in prep for a weightlifting meet or a CrossFit competition or any like big event like I have been in the past. And I've talked about this briefly, but a lot of it has been implementing more bodybuilding style work, which I'm not really used to. So it's cool to kind of share that with you guys just because it's a little bit out of my element, but it's still, you know, just a different change that I'm going through. So I wanted to bring you guys with me. So I'm going to eat this. And I'll catch back up with you when we go to gym. This is like an every morning thing with tubs. <laughs> good morning. Hi, bud. Yo, good morning. <laughs> Tux never wants to get up to go potty. Ever. Oh my God, you're so cute though. Oh, my tired old man. You think maybe we could go potty? Nope. Well, I'm just gonna sit right here. <laughs> Not you, you already went potty. You, you tell her potty and she is like the most excited thing you've ever seen in the world. She, oh my God, do you want to go potty? Oh my God, you want to go potty? <laughs> and this one, you tell him and he's like, mm, yeah, no. <laughs> Come on, let's go potty. Come on. Okay. Okay, because stretch it out. Okay, come on. Oh, and I'm so excited for this. So... Today, Austin's going golfing because it is so nice out today. It's still a little cold, but um, so because Sunday is Easter, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna make Austin an Easter basket. I like, this is, it's funny because my love language, like that I like to be loved is physical touch and words of affirmation. But the way that I give love is like acts of service. And I guess you could kind of say gift giving. That's like the way I speak my love language. So anyways, if you haven't read The Five Love Languages and you are in a relationship, or even if you're not, it's a really great read and I highly recommend it. So I made Austin this cute little Easter gift basket and I got him like a Nike golf shirt, some new golf balls, and then I put, like I went to this little candy shop here in Davenport and they make like specialized treats and stuff. This is like a Easter coated Oreo or something like that. And look how cute this is. It's a little coated Nutter Butter as a chick. I thought it was so cute. So anyways, I made him a little Easter basket. So I, when I leave, cause he will finish uh, his clients around like 10, but I'm going to the gym now. So then like I'll be there when he comes home. So this will be waiting for him when he gets home. So I love doing stuff like this. It literally makes me so happy. But anyway, so I'm gonna take uh, the dog goes outside and then we're gonna head to the gym and I'll see you guys there, show you my workouts and everything. And uh, I'll just kind of be like following me around today because I don't really know what I'm gonna do today, but I will just be kind of like vlogging because when I was asking about what I should do, a lot of people were just like, just do you. And I was like, okay, so we're vlogging today. 
post-workout shake and I just finished about two hours of schoolwork. It is 1.30 right now and the weather is still so nice out today. So actually one of Austin's older clients, like she used to be a member at his old gym, um, her name's Amanda too and she had reached out to me because she like followed me on Instagram and she was like, we have such similar personalities, we should hang out. And so today she actually invited me to go on a hike. I am so excited about it. I've been trying just to do more things like outside because I don't, I never really got the chance to do that in Florida, honestly, because it was just too hot. So I love being able to like go on walks and there's different like trails and hikes and, and there's caves and all kinds of stuff like that that I haven't even gotten to explore yet. So today after I eat my lunch, which I'll show you guys here in a second, um, we're going to go do that at this place called, I think it's Scott's Park or Scottsdale, Scott County Park, that's where it is. It's just like a nature hike, so I'm really excited because it is so beautiful outside. There's literally not one cloud in the sky, so I'm still a little bit chilly though <laughs> because the wind is like insane here. Like It can feel nice in the sun, but then the wind hits and it's like 40. I'm sure that's not even cold for some of you, but anyways, let me show you my lunch. I have here to start my base of my salad, as I'm sure you've seen in a lot of other videos. This is Tuscan kale with charred cherry tomatoes, some roasted chickpeas, half an avocado with everything but the bagel seasoning. And once these guys are done, 
these are the same potatoes that I showed you guys in my previous video. So these are just like the golden uh, yellow potatoes. I'm gonna pop those on there. And of course, I've got chicken thighs cooking up in there. They are almost done. So I'm gonna put together this little salad before I go on my hike. So many people were like, oh, we want new recipes, we want new recipes. And like, guys, I just can't stop eating chicken thighs. <laughs> I love them. They're so easy to meal prep and they're so delicious. And I just, ugh, I just like them so much. Okay, so I'm gonna take this guy. Oh boy. Put that on top. And there we go. This is gonna be my lunch. And it looks amazing. that are also named Amanda and also are <laughs> interested in YouTube slash vlogging. It's all about this creative life. <laughs> She's like, yeah, we can go on a hike and we can get content. <laughs> and I was like, okay, we're BFFs now. See you later. <laughs> such a random thing but the other day I was really craving uh, caramel rice cakes and then I got this fresh peanut butter from fresh time oh my gosh you guys if you have never had like you know where you grind it yourself that's the kind of peanut butter I'm pretty sure you can do it at Whole Foods or even fresh market but oh my gosh absolutely amazing so I'm gonna put some of this peanut butter on three of these little rice cakes and head over to my computer. I think it's because it tastes like the inside of a Nutter Butter. Oh my God, it's already five o'clock. I'm just gonna have this snack. Usually I eat dinner around like 5.30 or six, but I'm not like starving because that lunch really filled me up. So I'm just having a little snack and then I'll probably eat dinner around like 6.30. I'm gonna do banza pasta with shrimp, broccoli, um, like some onions and garlic, just just a basic meal. I don't really feel like doing anything too crazy. So, I'm gonna add this video. Awesome, be home soon. And I'll wrap up the vlog then. We're digging into the Easter basket. Yes, we are. I will say that these are better than the, uh... Mmm, not. Mm. <laughs> Goldie bears, whatever they're called. Golden bears? Not the brand. Oh, in the gold bag. Yeah. Love a good frosted pretzel. They're so cute. I just love that they have little Easter Garlic stuff cake. on them. <laughs> this is a chocolate covered Oreo. Except okay. you, you, the best one is right here. This is. That's right, yeah. Yeah, you, this is. Too. Honestly, the, this is the best one out of all the shapes. Oh. Uh -huh. It <clears throat> is. Reese's uh, Crunch ones with the. Oh, they have a little bit. Yeah, oh, yeah. With pieces right. or peanuts on the inside? Peanuts. Oh. I tell you what. I tell you what, guys. There's something else. Hey, mama. Papa. Hey, mama. What are we doing on this Friday night? We are about to go watch Netflix Imposters. <laughs> Our new show on Netflix is Imposters. Yeah. We're obsessed with it. We just started it. Yeah. And um, we just found out that they released a season two. So we're going to be binging that Who's shortly. I had a lovely shrimp bowl pasta dish for dinner. And instead of oatmeal tonight, my nightcap, do you, make, oh, I don't know if you're so hungry, but a long time ago, I used to eat these skinny, skinny cow. cow bars. 
the macros on these guys are pretty good. They're three fat, 29 carb, and four protein. Um, but if you're like really craving just an ice cream sandwich, these are amazing. And this is a snickerdoodle kind, which I always love. Yeah. yeah, do you want one? Yes. <laughs> of course you do. Yes. <laughs> the candy wasn't enough, or the pasta, Thank or you. the chicken thigh sandwich. We must have ice cream. I wish I had your metabolism. Back on the day, when I first started my fitness journey. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're gonna say something stupid. <laughs> oh, cool. Anyways. This is actually the first time I've ever eaten anything like this, so. You like ice cream sandwiches, though? Yeah, I feel like normal ice cream for us. <laughs> wow. Well, they are good, but I mean, I just eat normal ice cream sandwiches usually. <laughs> Well, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> we are gonna go to bed soon. Thanks for having an ice cream sandwich with me. Are you fun? Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> oh, so close. Oh, that was a good one.